Okay, so here's my unboxing for the Galaxy S21. It's the Phantom Grey variant, and I got it in the 256 gigabyte model. As you can see, it says Galaxy there, and nothing on top. Samsung on the side, and down and down here is just IMEI stuff. And it just says what's included in the box. So it's just the phone, USB cable, and a quick start guide. And along with the phone, I also have some other goodies. Got this smart tag. And some Galaxy Buds Live. I will not be keeping these though, so I'm not opening this. So we'll start with the most boring item. This, uh, the smart tag. I already opened this uh, tape, so it should be easy to open. For the most part, anyway. And voila, we have the smart tag. It's a little quick start guide. This says how to use it. Most likely, the user main will be digital anyway. And the device itself. Looks like this pops off here. Oh. Wow, this thing is very small. Very, very small. It says Galaxy Smart Tag on the front. And on the back, just the Samsung has what looks like a slot for maybe the battery. I'm not too sure down here. And oh, it might be like for a lanyard. And then there's a keychain hole. And it has a button on the front. Whoa, okay. I didn't think it would do that. Wait, how's this charged then? Huh. Interesting. Anyway. Enough of that. That's just like this thing's like fifty dollars. So <laughs> yeah, it's kind of nice that to get this for free. We pre-order the phone. Yeah. Mm. Oh, have to get use of that. And now for the phone. I already took the seal off, so this should be very simple. And there is the phone. It's a lifts up and voila, there is the Galaxy S21. I'm covering the bottom because of the IMEI stuff. And I'm going to put that to the side. So under here, we have, wow, with nothing. We just have the empty box and SIM eject tool and I believe in here is just charging cable and quick start guide. Very un unappetizing or boring unboxing. Huh, okay. Huh. Well, I'm gonna take the bottom off, but just want to say down here it says, it says no SIM card for, oh, the microphone hole. Right, right there. That's a the microphone hole. So saying, don't put your SIM card in there. And here's saying SIM card, and you need SIM tool for that. But yeah. And I'm just gonna remove the back because no one cares about the back plastic. And I'm gonna remove the, the camera lens plastic as well. Huh. So it doesn't really feel like plastic actually. It's like a nice, smooth, uh, smooth textured back, and. Some more plastic on the front. And the front of the phone looks like there's a screen protector on the front as well, so that's nice. And I'm gonna put the phone on. Hopefully, it didn't come dead. Oh, got the Samsung logo, Samsung Galaxy on the front. Starting the Android, and whoa, we got the phone going. Okay, so here's a quick comparison, if anyone's wondering. So for example, here's the bezels on the S10. It's much, much smaller on the S21. 
the bottom chin is smaller and the top it looks a little smaller as well I want to say not super apparent on camera but anyway okay in terms of the sides so we have the power button on the Samsung S10 here and the volume rocker up here on S21 power button down here on S21 uh, cameras on triple cameras on both only this one is like horizontal this one's vertical with the flash no heart rate monitor anymore sadly but yeah and on the top we have we have the sim card slot for for DS10 and sim card slot microphone and on S21 we have two microphones actually on the top because the S21 has well one of them is this the top microphone and the bottom microphone but this one has two on the top because one of them is a zoom in mic so when you zoom in on a video or whatever it'll physically zoom in or it, the zoom the microphone will zoom into wherever you're pointing and we saw some antennas on the side I think I forgot to remove the side peel, but whatever. And a bomb just a sim eject, just a sim eject tool and speaker and USB-C slot. And yeah, that's pretty much it.